Well, just as promised, like I told you during the portfolio show, I'll be going over how to make the uh, null controllers for the ARM. Um, I want to reset my grid. It seems to be off. So, reset, apply. Just going to create my ARM real quick. Typically, the best way I say to go about creating ARMs is make sure, set your tool. I turn off all these settings and match these two, mainly because going between uh, Maya and Max is a lot easier when you have both of these uh, set the way I have it. Keep your orientation at a local and not none. And let's make an arm real quick. There we go. We typically just get the uh, angle of the arm. The reason I do it in an angle and not do the elbow yet is so I can just simply insert the joint in at a proper angle. Using my 2009 or later, uh, you can insert your joint properly at an angle. That way you can still retain the proper uh, rotation axis for everything. And after you remove any joint, make sure you reorient stuff. So skeleton, orient joint, you can orient whichever you want. I'm just going to select the entire hierarchy and just orient it all together the same way. That way I know that everything is pointing in the right direction. Let's just make the controllers now though. Um, Let's say I start with a circle. We always do that. So curves, circle. Very typical one to use. Uh, the first thing I want to do is group it. What you want to use is you want to move and rotate this group. You don't want to actually scale this group though. The reason with that is if you scale the group, then the child takes the scale transforms and starts skewing very weird. Notice I still have the group selected. Just holding V and I want to snap it right over here. I'm going to rotate it upwards. Uh, let's do a 90. That way it's all uh, nice and perfect. Then I freeze my transforms when it's pointed upwards. The reason I do that is so that later I can match this rotation perfectly with that circle. I'm going to hope in my hierarchy right over here to make things a bit easier to select. So I'm selecting my joint right now. Shift select the group. I go to constrain, orient. I'm resetting. Apply. Notice how the controller matches it perfectly now. Now what you want to do is go back in your hierarchy, select the orient constraint itself, delete it. Now you have these two. I'm going to call this my elbow con, and this is going to become my elbow uh, con Let's match everything on null. The null is there mainly for placement. Now if I want to scale it, I select the actual controller, not the group. And I can scale that up however I want. And I can freeze my transforms. I want you to notice something is this controller now matches the exact angle of the joint the same time having all the transforms frozen. Meaning I can rotate at this angle properly. So if I take this actual controller here, shift click the joint, and constrain, orient, I can then take that, and when, when I rotate it, watch how it bends exactly how the arm is supposed to bend. You can do the same with all of these, so let's get uh, another one for the shoulder, so you can see how it's parented properly. Here you go again, a controller is created, I group it, I then move the group, snap it over here, Rotate this at 90. Freeze my transforms. Go back to my hierarchy. Select the joint. Shift select the group. Constrain orient. Delete it. Now the joint back to the curve. Constrain orient. Let's rename these. Curve, joint, strain, orient. Selected in the wrong order. This would be shoulder, con, null. And this is elbow, con, null. As usual, the problem is if I rotate this, it doesn't follow. But you don't want to just parent the typical way. You want to make sure the null still stays in contact. So you, what you want to do is take this null, middle mouse drag it, 
uh, rename this wrong on the shoulder. Take this elbow con null and drag it underneath the shoulder con null, right there. That doesn't need null on it. That way, when I rotate this, this rotates properly and it still retains the proper rotation. Now, there's a trick dealing with the opposite side. So if I take this, let's rename everything. This should be clavicle joint. Modify prefix hierarchy names. Left. Same with this. Okay. I'm going to take this now. Skeleton. Mirror joint. YZ. LR. Apply. Get the other side. Now when I deal with the controller on this side, it's a bit special. Remember when I rotate it on positive 90? You want to do it on the negative 90 this time. So again, I group this. Negative 90. Move that there, modify, freeze transforms. If you don't do this, it'll rotate the opposite direction. I know it's kind of weird, it looks exactly the same, but trust me on this. Again, constrain orient, matches it perfectly. Delete, constrain orient. And there we go. So next time, make sure that your FK controllers, have it, the controllers are properly oriented. That way, when you bend the arm, it doesn't break. The typical problem I always see is someone taking a controller like so. Let's say I do do this at a negative uh, 90. Snap that here. Modify freeze transforms. If you don't do the null method, to take these to constrain, orient, then break it from here, and I modify freeze transforms, you lose the special rotation, the special angle that you want. And what happens after that is if I take this, connect that, constrain, orient, uh, let's probably do it with the maintain offset, which is typical. Look how it bends versus how this bends.